Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship. He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by that time. competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast. He was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the outcome. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Butcher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Tyson. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Ooh, big shot lead. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, effective use of the jab by Tyson. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Tyson. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's looking arm triangle. 
Well, on the opposite side, when he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Oh, oh, he he somehow gets out. He just has to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Grounded him and pounded. Nice job. Another strike gets through from the top position. This is a terrible position. Under 90 seconds to go. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Tyson. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Oh, nice elbow. Lands a big elbow there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Making all these shots count. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. An appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP. I mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Oh, it looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Slips to avoid the win. Work here from the bottom fighter. Tyson's now dealing with a cheat cut. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Working out of the half guard here. Beautiful transition. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, into the mount. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice shot there by the champ. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, there's some good ground and pound here, and some swelling has now been caused on his opponent. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent. Oh, oh just open it up on a down. Oh, jeez. Back to his feet. Looking to recover. Nice block. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area. And now he's dealing with a cut. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his ass. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Well, he 
has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his team that he's not giving him much to work with. Oh, oh saved by the bell there. The round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And, of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. This round, let's go back out there and look to finish him off. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. So here we go, the crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed if we continue to fight as we did in the previous round. Oh! Oh, look at that. He can't even stand. Now he's got good body position, yo. Yep. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Nice diversity in the attack. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Leading from his cheek now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. That was nice. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to school. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Final seconds here. Oh, oh saved by the bell. That's the end of the round, and thankfully for him, it came at the right time. He got knocked down just before the horn. We'll see if his corner can keep him in the fight. Just 60 seconds with which to recover here before the next round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't... Oh! Oh, 
another heavy shot gets through. Look at it, let's get the stop in the way! Oh my goodness! How about it? Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of doubters and naysayers.